Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So for those that don't know, the Cassette Beast demo was present at Steam Next Fest this year and let me just say, oh man, it was so freaking good. I was already hyped for Cassette Beast prior to any playable build back when they revealed it, but this demo sort of just took it to the next level for me and today we're gonna explain why that's the case and why you should be excited too. In other words, I just wanna gush over Cassette Beast for a few minutes, so if you're into that, sit back, relax, subscribe, and let's dive in. Okay, so if you don't know by now, Cassette Beats is an upcoming pixel art open world monster taming RPG where you find yourself on some strange island inhabited by monsters and those that can transform into them. The main goal of the game will be to find your way off of this island by traversing it and defeating the archangels that are these strange entities that exist within the island but don't really fit in with the rest of its theme. Gameplay wise, the game is not to be mistaken for something like Pokemon in terms of its combat because the combat system and mechanics around it function nothing like your typical Pokemon like game, which is why I've oftentimes said Cassette Beast is not a Pokemon-like game, but just a monster taming RPG that in some ways can be visually compared to Pokemon and very lightly in the gameplay, just in the fact that you obtain monsters. I mean, kinda, but that's it. Combat plays in a two versus two format with all monsters being monotyped, however, having the ability to fuse with one another to become dual typed and more powerful. You're able to attach various stickers to your cassette tapes in order to add more moves and passive abilities to your monsters as you please so long as the monsters are compatible. The type chart does not work in a not very effective and super effective format, but instead revolves around various buffs and debuffs and even transmutation when certain types interact. So this is all the stuff we knew prior to the demo. So why has this demo specifically gotten me so excited for this game. Well, first of all, if you haven't already watched my demo playthrough, I highly recommend you do so because it's an absolute blast. But one of the reasons for this is that I think the Cassette Beast demo is what many games wish their demo could be. Sure, it's only the first 40 minutes of gameplay or so, but it's a lot more than just that. The demo introduces you to all of the game's major mechanics right off the bat, and from that aspect is a very fast paced, but also allows for a clean transition between events. Right from the start, you're introduced to basic battles, a little bit about the game's lore, and a a couple hints here and there which I think even add mystique to the island like some people coming from seemingly different worlds or at least different eras where something as simple as movies don't exist. Towards the end of the game you're introduced to the archangels these creatures that don't quite fit in this world and seemingly know a lot more than they may have initially let on and even these strange vampire people that are also threatening peace. That's just lore stuff. In terms of actual gameplay mechanics you're introduced to like I said the combat but even with combat I believe these specific moves that were picked were intentional. So when playing a game like Pokemon or Nexomon or whatever, you're expecting a lot of attacks to be standard elemental abilities, having some sort of secondary status effect, or just doing a base damage, or maybe lowering a stat or something like that. This is sort of a box that a lot of us create when it comes to what's possible in these types of games. One of the moves that I think perfectly exemplifies how Cassette Beast intends to break out of that box that we've created is the move your partner possesses dubbed Call for Help. What this move does is it adds a third party party member to your team for a short period of time based on the area that you're in. Now imagine something like that in Pokemon where you're fighting in a double battle and suddenly there's a third Pokemon added to the mix, making it a three on two. This is something that would likely never happen and honestly, I don't think most people would have even thought up that as an idea for an attack. The extra monsters that come are by no means overpowered, but do act as a good way to take certain hits and get off a little bit of extra damage. And I think this perfectly exemplifies how Cassette Beast both aims to be different and also showcases their ability to again think outside of the box. The demo also showcased how the sticker system works, it went into the bonding mechanics, fusion, boss battles, the AP system, and more, all tightly knit into this one great experience. The main complaint I've seen regarding the demo is people want to play more, and I mean that just goes to show how successful the demo was in grabbing people's attention. My experience with the demo was that the gameplay was very clean, animations are great, the mechanics work well, and the pixel art's amazing. I also especially love that you can jump and sort of glide around in the overworld, but that's just me. Also, and this wasn't initially going to be part of this video, but if you don't go to the train station, there's actually a lot of extra stuff you can do before the demo ends. So stay tuned for a video going over that because there's like monster recycling, the game's equivalent to shinies, etc. But yeah, all that being said, definitely make sure to wishlist Cassette Beast on Steam. I personally think it's going to be the pixel art monster taming 
game of 2023 when it launches, and we need to give this game some much deserved attention. All that being said, if you are a fan of Caseppi's or you just want to discover more monster taming games or are a fan of the genre, definitely subscribe to the channel because I put out new monster taming videos every single day. You can check out my Twitter, my Discord, and my Patreon, all links below. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogo's Dark Persona, and Exodus, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.